Would you have picked a boyfriend as your main? I doubt I would have picked a boyfriend for a tumble on, just saying. <laughs> I'm Jaslyn, I'm 15, and this is my dream quince story. You may have seen me on TikTok or Instagram. TikTok, my personality is basically what I get no noticed for. Just trying to show my clothes as well. I started social media about three years ago. I think I was like maybe 11. I like doing videos to songs and acting and stuff like that. So I just started doing it more and more. So the one video that I got featured on Musical.ly was a Halloween video. It was me, my best friend, and my brother. My platform and my social media is a family affair because everyone puts work into it. My mom does all my emails. My brother helps me set up cameras. My dad also tries to help a lot and does come in my videos sometimes when I have ideas, he'll pop in the videos. My life has definitely changed a lot over the past three years before like I ever did social media or even thought of it I was like I'm not gonna lie I was very shy and like like a very shy introvert and now I definitely feel like it made me branch out to who I am today I'm very more open and like just more it I show more of myself than I did before so it definitely has changed my life a big it's a big part of my life now me and my boyfriend have been doing a lot of content recently and I thought it'd be fun and exciting to show in my quince video. Bye bye! <laughs> this is my boyfriend Joseph and actually we started dating after my quince so he didn't get to come to it. Really sad. What do you think my video looks like bye bye? What do you think my quince did look like? I think it was like a lot of colors. I think it was blue. Blue? Yeah. <laughs> what the? Um, the theme was like a princess, princess. Cinderella type thing. I seen a lot of that oh, as well. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. You got it all wrong because I don't know what you were thinking, <laughs> but my quinta was nothing like that at all. You guys all know because that was the wrong description. Wrong <laughs> description. All right, let's just watch the video. Oh, my venue was so beautiful. It's literally the only venue here in Orlando, but it's so beautiful. And I just loved it because it's like such a um, like a renaissance theme, but like it was it had a good touch of modern theme as well. This part was like you show like growing up, mm -hmm. and then it's my dad dancing with like little girl, the baby, and then it's me. And I really wanted it to show like I like me and my dad grew up really close, and then that's how he oh, presented Lena, me. You look so beautiful. Thank you. I was so nervous you at that so point different. too. Yeah, I did look different. I I didn't. <laughs> but I was so nervous. I didn't want to mess up. I was like, okay, I got it. I got to do everything oh, right. <laughs> mm. My vision for it was very enchanted. Like I needed it to be like um, greenery, like all the flowers, just like aesthetic too. It was kind of on like the side of that because that's like what I like and also what I like for parties. Now everyone's like, your quince is like the best I've ever been to. So that, like for me, I was like, thank you. I got that, I got that. <laughs> I literally told my parents, I was like, like, I don't know, like maybe six months before, a year, six months before. I was like, I want a quince this year. And they're like, you couldn't have told us this two years ago to prepare. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So in the planning process, I was very involved too because the decorators, they involved me like saying, what do you want? Like, what do you want me to create for you? I cried there because those are like my godparents and then see I have the ring on right now that's like my ginza ring that they gave me I cried because they did a speech I was like oh dang I got blue wrong my yeah you got blue wrong <laughs> there was no blue in here so my ginza just was a really big part of my like whole theme and I knew my dress had a dress or like match that so I was like Looking on Instagram, I couldn't really find anything. Me and my parents were looking, my grandma was looking, we couldn't find anything that matched it. I kept looking on Instagram, and then finally, like, this YouTube video popped up of another girl. I was like, oh my gosh, her dress is so pretty. Yeah, I looked from the website where it's from, and it was from Moda, and I was like, this is the dress. Like, I need this dress to match my theme, to match me. It was like, I need this dress. They came in, it was perfect. So I was like, this dress was meant to be.
I cried a lot, but that's another time I cried because of like dancing with my dad. I was like, <laughs> and it was like a song. It was like a song in Spanish that basically is saying like, don't grow anymore for like in my dad's perspective. And it was like a quince song that they actually made. Well, smoke too. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I, I went all out. I wish I was there. Mm, me too. Funny story. You're supposed to be there. My mom told me to invite him, but like I was scared. <laughs> I was like, I can't invite him. I don't even know him. Like, I can text him, but I can't, I can't invite him. And then after, I was like, I should have invited him. Like before, we I didn't even know him. I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I followed him on Instagram because he followed me. And I was gonna, I, I was gonna text him. I kept like there was multiple times where I was like, I need to text him. But I couldn't text him because I was too shy and I was like, what if he rejected me? I can't do this. But then now, like looking back, I'm like, wow. It took him just to DM me and then we got together. I was like, it could have been so much longer and easier just to text him. Oh, this is my dance. I still remember it too. It's so pretty. It was to a thousand years. That was the one song that I wanted really bad. Oh. I'm not gonna talk about the guy. <laughs> if I was there, if you invited me, he could've I could have been, been the guy. <laughs> so guys, my main chamelon is Abe. He was my best friend since sixth grade. We were always like the funny, like best friends, you know what I mean? So when I had like it was time for my kids, so I was like, I don't know who to pick because I it was between two people. And then when I look back, I was like, Abe is a really good dancer. Like. He is a really, really good dancer. So I was like, I'm not trying to make myself look bad. I need someone who's a good dancer. I'm so better. I picked him. I doubt I would have picked a boyfriend for Chamberlain, just saying. Yeah, because my sister, she did the same thing. Like, she didn't put her boyfriend. Because uh -huh. like, if they ever broke up, which they did, mm. it's like she doesn't have to look back and see. Like, yeah. Them. I don't know. I'm I don't just know. glad we met <laughs> yeah. at the time we did. Because, like, I don't think it would have worked out if I picked you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, my surprise dance. Not gonna lie, one part I messed up. I was hoping no one would catch where I messed up. I was like thinking in my head, oh, I messed up, let me keep going. And I, I don't think anyone catched it. I could have did that better. I'm just saying. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it was like also the practices were so fun to this dance not gonna lie I was in LA before this two we had two weeks to practice this dance and we only did like I think three practices a week so we did in total like six seven practices hardest thing oh, in my life but we got me. it we got it You see in one part, my uncle, he's like 60 something and he does the splits in the middle oh of the circle. Oh my god. You saw that video? No, I didn't see Oh that. my gosh, he does the splits in the middle circle. I was like, what is going on? I did want it to be very intimate. I did want like the closest people to me and the most important people to me to go. I definitely don't think I would have changed anything from that day. I think. It played out so well. I was like, I was kind of speculating. I was like, I don't like, maybe I want to change some things. But when I looked, like, as it flowed, I was like, there's nothing I would have changed of that night at all. It looked perfect. Yeah. Like, I wish I was there. Yeah, it did. I definitely don't think I would have had the confidence that day. Because, like I said, I was very shy. Like, the shyest person ever before social media. My mom said, I haven't seen you, like, opened up like this um because i was like dancing i was doing everything i could have been that one night and she was like who is this so i definitely let my confidence come out that day it was definitely my dream quinceanera Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed reacting to my quince. Comment down below what you thought of it. Subscribe to my dream quinceanera and also subscribe to our channel. Bye! <laughs>